It's gonna be the uh, tarot reading for the sign of Taurus for October 2019. If you'd like a personal reading or if you have any questions about the deck I'm using or anything like that, please check the link below. I'm gonna get straight to this. Okay, there's a lot of fire energy around you here. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. We have the Four of Wands in the reverse and the Two of Wands. I feel like you broke up with a fire sign or you kind of gotten away from a commitment with a fire sign here, Taurus. And right now you're just waiting to see what their next move is. This could be them or you. There's a lack of action in the situation. You could also be dealing with a Pisces here. If you are dealing with a Pisces, I feel like this Pisces wants to look at their other options and feels kind of trapped by you, Taurus. There's a lack of movement in the situation. I feel like there's a lot of immaturity in the situation as well. Could be immature communication between you guys. A lot of anxiety as well. Sleepless nights. Unsure of what to do. I feel somebody feels trapped in the situation, Taurus. It could be you or the person that you're dealing with. We have the Queen of Swords and the Prince of Swords. There's a lot of spying going on in this situation. Somebody wants to kind of have control of the situation uh, by any means necessary. That's what I'm hearing. Any means necessary. This person may be spying. This person may be very rude towards you at this time. Or they could just be very kind of emotionally manipulative and very like kind of uh, standoffish as well. Maybe using emotion against you here, Taurus. You have the three of wands. I feel like you've stopped waiting for a situation to improve. Or this could be them as well. With the Empress, you could be dealing with a Libra, or this could be you yourself, Taurus. I feel like you're focusing on your money and your family at this time, uh, even though this situation is kind of in the background for you. With the Prince of Cups, I feel like somebody deserves an apology here, um, or somebody's waiting for an apology that is really slow to come. This could be a there could be a Gemini involved here. This could be a twin flame connection that you're dealing with. But however, you guys are not look you guys are not seeing eye to eye in this situation. People are are um, refusing to communicate, refusing to give an apology. Like really stubborn energy here. There's been a lack of uh, effort put into the situation as well. I feel like. Somebody's kind of tired of the situation, to be honest with you. They want to walk away, but I feel like somebody else is being very stubborn and like stubbornly holding on to them somehow. Uh, we have the King of Cups in reverse here. You could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio. I'm getting Scorpio. This person could be younger than you, or there could be a, a age difference between you guys i feel like this person or you yourself have been very emotionally manipulative and have been trying to use your resources in order to to kind of use the situation or move the situation to your um to your advantage all right so that's the overall situation taurus let's see what your blockage is for this month what's the blockage for the side of taurus for october Eight of Swords. I feel like your blockage is yourself. I feel like you, and this is a mental prison that this person's in, in the Eight of Swords. Um, I feel like your blockage is being unable to move the way that you want to. I feel like there's been obstacles put in your way either by this person or by, by your own mind that has stopped you from moving on. The Fool. I feel like you definitely want to take a leap of faith in this situation but i feel like you don't want to get hurt or kind of you don't want to kind of risk too much while trying to make a move okay i feel like there's been a lot of stagnation in the situation too which could be one of your obstacles there could also be some type of money obstacles in this situation as well and a lot of pride pride i'm getting pride yeah we have the emperor there could be an Aries in your environment who is very stubborn and kind of uh, does not kind of budge from whatever their stance is. Uh, this person could be keeping an eye on you as well. We have the sun. I feel like you're going to kind of find out about this situation. Um, 
if the sun is in your blockage maybe you need to kind of open up your eyes and stop being so stubborn about the situation open your eyes and see exactly what's going on i feel like the situation could be going on for over a year as well you need to kind of open up your eyes and uh kind of awaken to to what what it is that the role that you played in the situation as well as the role that this other person played because there's a lack of happiness here uh if there is um some type of family situation tars i feel like the person that you're dealing with is not very happy with you at this time and does not see very happy like happiness or long-term commitment with you at this time i feel like they are either there just for the children or um this could be you of course or just kind of like to to save face and they're very stubbornly holding on to that i feel like there's a lack of creativity in this situation a lack of movement um as well so maybe you need to be a little bit more creative and kind of look at the situation from a different perspective in order to kind of move forward so that is your blockage let's see what your outcome is gonna be and i'm doing this reading kind of fast because like i'm tired of repeating myself you guys should already know that tarot is uh timeless you guys should already know that the energies are interchangeable and this could resonate with you in any type of way uh if it does resonate and you like the video please comment below hit like thank you I feel like in the outcome, you're still going to be very burdened by the situation or this could be the person that you're dealing with. Kind of tired of carrying it around with them. They're kind of stuck or maybe you're at a stalemate with somebody in regards to this situation. Kind of have to be kind of strategic in the situation as well. You have to put your feelings to the side and be strategic about what you're doing. I feel like if you are dealing... I'm hearing Pisces strong. Like if you're dealing with a Pisces or another earth sign, uh, I feel like there's a lack of growth here and just a lot of burdens. And I think you need to let the situation go. You have to have the strength to walk away and cut off what it is that you need to cut off. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. You guys are just wasting time in this situation. And it's burdening you more and more. It's getting somebody very angry as well, Taurus. I feel like you'll have different offers to, to choose from, but I feel like you're not going to be very happy about these offers that are being kind of presented to you as well. Uh, I feel like you will go through some type of pain in regards to kind of separating from somebody that's been burning to you, but I feel like at the end it is for your own good. Uh, eventually there might be, there might be a pregnancy as well here. Uh, if there is a pregnancy, I feel like everything is going to be go well, but I feel like you need to stop any type of uh, conflict that you have with anybody else or sadness and kind of let go of your emotions in order to kind of nourish this pregnancy and nourish this new idea that you're holding on to, Taurus. Uh, there could be, uh, yeah, there could be uh, an Aquarius coming towards you here with this King of Swords. Um, I feel like this person might give you good advice in regards to how to kind of put your feelings to the side and move forward. I keep here. Put your feelings to the side. Move forward. You have things to do. Battles to fight. All right. One more card for Taurus for their outcome. If you are unable to uh, kind of detach yourself from any type of emotion in regards to the situation, uh, this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. You will not be able to manifest what it is that you want in, at this time. So please be very careful with that. Try to kind of discern who you talk to, who you speak with, who you invest your energy into. And um, don't let your emotions get the best of you. All right? All right, Taurus. I'll see you next month. Bye.